so, so, so just as a matter of explanation, those properties were developed under the USDA program, Section 515 program. Under those programs, rental assistance is given to the property. There are tenants that live in those properties. They pay nothing. Okay? We're not talking about that in this situation. In this program with DCA and the tax credits, that's not the case. In this case, the tenants will be paying a minimum of $390 a month for one bedroom apartment. How many so, kids am I allowed to have? Well, you're not allowed to have any kids if the management company chooses not to have them. But I will also tell you this, having represented senior housing is that it's the kids that will hurt a project more than anything else and that the owners don't want the children because if there are a lot of children running around then the seniors who are really there for the purpose of retirement or whatever, then you know, they want to move out. It makes, it makes the property uh, much more uninhabitable associated with that. So this, let's talk about discrimination. You can, you're discriminating against you're discriminating against children and you're discriminating against those that are under, that are under the age of 55 and that's acceptable under federal law. So well, I don't know, sir. I mean, you know, maybe you know, maybe a married couple they may want to have the extra room or maybe they don't like to sleep together in the same bedroom. <laughs> yes, ma'am, you've been very patient. Uh, I'm looking at the three points that you've indicated were our primary objections and you know, we can get bogged down in the details of, of management decisions which none of us can project because once the management company takes it over, they're going to do what they want. So let's look at the three objections that you articulated that we have, which I think there's a lot more, but there's one major one that I think is a glaring issue that you've neglected. You said that you're going to build this, you know, that we have a problem with story structure and that you have ameliorated the aesthetics and to look at this lovely drawing that you have and that we should say, hey, that's gorgeous. Well, as you indicated, I too have gone down to the IRA and looked at the important complexes that you're putting up as a model. And in my humble opinion, they're not really very attractive. And if I was living across the street, I live on a county plane. If I was living across, I, live, I wouldn't say that that was a gorgeous thing to be looking at. Number two, you say that um, there's going to be a, a landscaper, which is going to be a buffer zone. I think that's really kind of a lot of a uh, fancy way of saying you're going to put like a, a old hill to try and cover up an eyesore. And third, which is really where my interest really lies, because I live on Hammond Plain, you're talking about this runoff, and your only answer to the runoff big blown up thing that says that it's going to be a very mediocre increase in the water levels around. Well, I've looked at your plans and I've looked that you have purported, and I, I underscore, purported a change that you have created this retention pond. But you have no plan as far as I can see to be able to divert the water if the water rises above the level if we've recently been in flooding zones, I personally, last week when it was raining really bad, was shoveling out my gutters to keep my house from flooding. Uh, if, or our dock is over right now. And if we have even a small amount of runoff from your apartment complex, we in the surrounding area are going to have a big, big problem. And one of the things that has been brought to my attention as one of your ideas is to pump through here. I pay a lot of money for for my dues for to to maintain those lakes and to maintain the pumps that take care of those lakes. And I don't feel it's my responsibility for my money for that lake and those pumps to be appropriated for your back pocket because you're not doing this for the purposes of helping elderly. You're doing this for the purpose of making money. So what are you going to do? With it? 